Well, fucking hell. If that's what you call boxing, then I don't know what. That was an absolute fucking joke of a fight. Absolute joke of a fight. I mean, I didn't pay for it. I said I wasn't paying for it. I streamed it. I streamed it. That was just absolute fucking bullshit, man. That wasn't boxing. That was watching a 40-year-old man get fucking punched all around the ring. He had, what, 30 seconds of the first round. That's all I give him. After that, he was just... It was just an absolute onslaught. And for people to... I don't know, the fucking commentators saying, oh, he's got a heart of gold, he's he's a warrior. He's a fucking clown, man, because he should never have taken this fight in the first place. But this fight was a farce from the beginning. I've just watched Derek Chisori get punched all around the fucking ring for 10 rounds. Vic, Victor Lachlan... The Scottish referee goes over to Don Charles's corner at the end of round nine. And he's not happy about it. And Don Charles is saying, I'm in the corner. I'll decide when to stop it. Victor Lachlan should have grabbed Don Charles and threw him straight out of the ring and said, I'm the fucking referee. I'll stop this fight. That was a fucking farce, man. Absolute farce. Steve Bunce was the only commentator who was saying after round two, I don't like what I'm seeing. He's just got absolutely punched all over the place. I mean, f fair credit to Dell. He's going to take the fight. But fucking hell, Derek, man. Come on. He's, you knew you stood no chance. All the hardcore boxing fans knew that he st stood no chance. And, and for Tyson Fury to even think after that this is a good win, I'm not saying he does think that. I'm just saying, that was easy work. It was like watching a fucking poodle versus a pit bull. He just had no chance. His face was bust up, his mouth was pissing blood out. His eyes are shut. That wasn't boxing to me. That's not boxing. This is why I fucking hate the heavyweight division. Because of fucking joke fights like this. And you've got people at the side of the ring who he should be fighting. Usek, Joe Joyce. You know, there's other fighters out there. Michael Hunter, Feli Perkovic, Anthony Joshua, Frank Sanchez. There's so many. Otto Wilding, why is he not fighting him again? Instead, you've just watched an exhibition of a fighter just get fucking punched all over the, all over the place. It was like watching... So a fighter hit a punch bag. That's what it was like. That's an absolute fucking farce, man. That referee, Victor Lachlan, should have stopped that after round three, round four, because you could quite clearly see that Derek was shot to pieces. Absolutely shot to pieces. The only thing Derek was landing was a few body punches on the waistline. That was it. Every time he threw the right hand, he missed. He was catching the uppercuts, the straight rights down the middle, the left hooks. That was just a bullshit fight, man. Fair play to Fury. He's gone over to his corner straight after. But for me, that wasn't heavyweight boxing. That was a joke of a fight. But I guarantee you, Derek will be wheeled out again. He'll either be on the zone or he'll be on somewhere sky fighting someone next. Tyson Fury... Take a damn good look at yourself and you, Frank Warren, because that was a joke of a fight, man. And you knew damn well what the outcome was going to be. Now, go and fight someone with a heartbeat. Not a 40-year-old veteran who shot to pieces three, four, five years ago. I mean, it's a year ago, Joseph Parker could have stopped him if he wanted to. And it was just that Parker didn't put enough pressure on Derek Chisora was finished in that fight, and that was a year ago. I was watching Del Boy go back to his corner. He was like someone pissed up on a Friday night. He was all over the place. Let me know what you think. Yeah, I'll get criticised. Do I give a fuck? No, not really. Because that's not boxing to me. That's not boxing at all. Peace out. Catch you on next one.